Hey, I'm Rachel, and I'm doing a video version of my books for kids this month. Uh, I went digging through my own bookshelves to find a couple books that I thought really fit our theme for the month, which is character. So, this is what I found. <laughs> the first books I found were um, actually books that I read when I was a, a kid, um, and my sisters read them too, and they're by Nancy Levine, and it's a whole series uh, about this girl named Alex, and she finds herself in predicaments and um, for example this one shoelaces and brussels sprouts she lost her shoelaces and then she lied to her mom and then kind of it gets mushrooms into a bigger problem and she kind of needs to figure out the best way to handle it so uh, there's a whole series of these um, they're not on Amazon or Barnes and Noble but I went out on eBay and I found them reasonably priced uh, a whole bunch of them so um, they're they are able to be found even though they were published, I don't know, probably back in the in the late 80s. So um, really great books, especially um, the age range for this one is 7 to 11, so a little bit older. Another book that I had when I was a kid too is um, this one. It's called Giant Steps for Little People by Kenneth Taylor. And it has a series of, it's basically a little devotional book for kids. And each one of them focuses on... A different thing to remember or a way to act or behave um, so for this one for example they have really cool kind of calming illustrations and um, this one the main thing says if you do what's right and just because you really care then God will smile because he wants to see you do what's fair so this one's all about being fair and it has a little uh, blurb and it's got some questions in a verse and the other really cool thing about this is there's little ladybugs hidden all through the pictures. So that was always really fun to find the ladybugs. And I do know that there's an updated version of this. I bought a copy of it from my sister um, when she got pregnant with her last child. So I know that this is available, um, a new and kind of updated version, compared to this one, which was 1985. <laughs> Okay, the last one is a little bit newer, and with Easter kind of on its way, we're done with Valentine's Day, uh, I thought I'd pull this one out. This is just a couple years old, and it's called um, The Easter Egg, and it's by Jan Brett. It's really pretty. The illustrations, once again, are um, kind of scenic, and the story is all about a little rabbit who he they all have to come up with an Easter egg, and then the Easter Bunny chooses which one he likes best and then they get to go with the Easter Bunny and hide the Easter eggs for the Easter Easter egg hunt and he goes around and kind of sees all these different eggs that everyone is making and I love this part it says making a beautiful egg is harder than I imagined I guess I don't have to win I just want to make an egg that I'm proud of so I thought that was kind of a cool message and um, I won't tell you the ending but it's cute <laughs> so this is a great one to pick up especially with uh, Easter coming up, but it also, once again, has a great message about how our kids should act and behave and respond to tough situations or if they feel like they're not matching up. So I'll put the links below uh, in the post, so if you want to check them out, you can follow those links. And I'd love to hear your suggestions of other character-related books that you found for your kids. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you next month.